Myanmar now, where despite the country's 40-year isolation, the art scene has remained a vibrant one. One of the country's leading artists is Min Wei An, who's been painting for more than a decade. His work is finally attracting international interest, and some pieces fetch thousands of dollars. His style is unique. His portraits generally feature the backs of people rather than their faces. Shakuntala Santaran has the story. They look almost like photographs. These seemingly half-finished paintings of Myanmar's monks, nuns, and novices. But the apparent simplicity is full of subtle detail. To his fans, Min Weiang's paintings have a meditative tranquility. Images which hint at the spirit of the people of Myanmar, perhaps better than the work of any other contemporary painter. Min Weiang began painting images like these almost a decade ago, after visits to the United States and Japan. The contemporary artists he met there inspired him to move away from painting more traditional landscapes and portraits. They do more uh, contemporary art, more uh, modern uh, as well. They pay realistic style. I know I must change it. Yeah. His current work reflects his experience of life in Myanmar, where the people are deeply religious. Most are Buddhist. Religion is woven into the fabric of daily life in Myanmar, and even the simple act of giving alms inspired him. I remember that my childhood, I lived in a monastery, but I remember the, um, the man, their living style. Eh? Then I had the idea that I, I started to paint the man city. While the imagery of Min Weiang's paintings may be religious, that's not the motivation behind them. No, no religious. Eh? I pay no Buddhist story. They are Buddhist eh, follower. They are uh, living style. Yeah, not bu Buddhist religious thing. I interested in that they are movement. They are walking because the, you know, there are many people. You can see behind they are movement. Very different walking style. Most of his paintings are of his subjects' backs. Because uh, the backs are very difficult. Many, many people say, oh, easy. For me, very difficult because the many headaches are not interesting for me. Very few people are interesting for me because some head are very similar. Very similar. Susie Rippingall is a fan of his work. She discovered Herman Wei Ang in a gallery in Singapore. Well, the most important thing that Pinky does is to capture movement extremely well. I really enjoy that one. And the other aspect is a sense of perspective. So every time you look at the picture from different angles, it looks different. And finally, it's the degree of detail. You know, if you look at the parasol in this picture, he's, uh, it's absolutely exquisite. So every time I look at the picture, it looks different, and I'm a very happy owner. Avid art collector Howard Bilton also owns a Min Weiang. I like it because it's, uh, it's a nice, simple image. It's got good color in it, uh, nothing too complicated. I think it's very well painted. He's got good attention to detail. Um, and I like the religious imagery of it. I've always been interested in religious imagery, although I'm not religious. Foreigner, this, this is my painting. Oh, this painting is uh, from Myanmar, they know already. Yeah. Because the man uh, religion is already famous. Yeah, Buddhist religion, yeah. Karen Weber represents Min Weiang in Hong Kong. His work is also sold in galleries in London and Singapore. Each piece fetches between 2,000 and nearly 10,000 US dollars. I would say his work is popular internationally, but as a Hong Kong-based gallery, for example, we have not one instance 
I think, of a Chinese client buying his work. Uh, it's, I don't know why, but uh, they would not even look at his work. So it's international clients who buy from us here in the gallery. Min Weiyang's work is so well received, in fact, that other artists in Myanmar and Thailand are copying his style of painting, hoping to cash in on Min Weiyang's popularity. But there's been criticism that his paintings look too similar, a suggestion perhaps of his beginnings as a graphic artist. He is aware of being repetitive or using the same subject matter and um, he is trying to find ways of how to change but it will come gradually I think. If he, uh, if he wants to he can paint anything he wants. I know for example that he is a wonderful watercolor artist but this current style has made him so popular and of course also financially it's been extremely rewarding so he has got a, quite a dilemma to decide how to go artistically forward in order to fulfill himself as an artist and at the same time to ensure that he continues to sell his work. Maybe I'll be more continued this time. Maybe not. Yeah. Will he ever paint faces? Yeah, maybe I uh, face. No, I'm more interested in bear. <laughs> For now, Min Weiyang's current style continues to sell well. Since 1998, Karen Weber has sold some 60 pieces of his art in sell-out exhibitions. The Burmese art scene is incredibly vibrant. And I would say probably the art scene in Burma is now as it was in Vietnam perhaps 10, 15 years ago. There are a lot of talented artists coming out and I find it very exciting. As Min Weiyang's work and that of other artists gain greater international exposure, so too does Myanmar. Many the people come to visit my gallery or my exhibition. They're very interested. Then they ask me the how is Myanmar, what is their religion, what they are doing there. They want to know landscape. Then they want to they want to visit Myanmar. After that, many people come to visit Myanmar. And that's all for this edition of Focus Asia.